It was here on the campus of Prince George's Community College in the spring semester of 2016 that we caught word of a horrible phenomenon known as the Goatman Murders. What we do know is there was a well-known student on campus known as the Dope Man, a very successful entrepreneur servicing school supplies to needy students on a daily basis. After a lengthy investigation and in-depth conversation with the staff and students, it seems as if the Dope Man was just as notorious as the Goat Man. The link between the two still remains a mystery. Our staff has come to the reasonable conclusion that everyone we spoke to potentially has something to hide. What it is they're hiding, we may never know. He's my boyfriend, but he's not my child. I don't have a tracking device on him. I don't I don't know what he does every moment of the day, and he probably doesn't want me to. Well, it just seems a little fishy that you barely know anything. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't have all of the answers. Do you have all the answers? had already been surfacing about a mysterious figure that appeared to be a very tall half-man half-goat crowned with horns on his head. What we found interesting was during the peak of the dope man's trade the murders became more frequent. We decided to interview a host of students to find a connection and what we found was startling. So how did you feel since the last time we spoke? I'm pretty good you know nothing out of the ordinary is going on. There was this one incident, but other than that, I've been good. Can you tell me about the incident? So, you know, goings on happen at the school, right? Why are you changing your story? I wouldn't say I'm changing my story. Maybe I have omitted a lot of information only because I didn't know you or what your purpose was. So I'm minding my business, I'm going into the library, and this random guy, and I'm assuming it was his friend, approached me, started asking about my boyfriend's business. My boyfriend's business is usually his business, and I don't get involved in that. He does what he does. He's a little entrepreneur. That's his little business. And I just told him that has nothing to do with me. I don't do any of that. That didn't satisfy him, so he asked me again, tried to intimidate me and stuff. But, you know, I'm not involved in anything that he does, so... I just had to let him know. Last time we spoke, you said you didn't have a boyfriend. Um, yeah, I lied. I lied. So when was the last time you saw this kid? That incident, that same day. That was the only time that I saw him. I don't really know what happened to him after he approached me. We've never seen him after that.
We got to have a conversation right now. Have All of the selling that's going on, it needs to stop. Stop selling. Right now. Yeah, I'm going to keep You on have all of these random people coming up to me wondering if I got shit that you what, put. What are you even talking about right now? What am I talking about? Are you kidding me? Obviously, they're trying to get to you. This has nothing to do with me. But you need to keep me out of this. I'm, doing I'm it not affiliated purpose. with your business. You act like I know who these people are. They're asking me, do I have what you have? Why would I have what you have? Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, all right. Handle it. Damn. So did you tell your boyfriend about what happened to you? Yeah, I told him. He kind of made me seem like I was overreacting. He just didn't really get it. So I felt sort of disrespected and, you know, taken out of my element. My safety is all jeopardized. I don't like this business that he's doing. It doesn't have anything to do with me. He was like, oh, calm down. It's like, you need to get this together. Nobody should be approaching me with this nonsense. So what was your boyfriend's reaction? I don't really think he, like, grasped the whole situation at the time. I think, you know, he's like a hothead like the rest of y'all guys get. But, you know, what can you do? I just had to let him know. You didn't see a strange image in the woods and parking lot D. Um, but you know, if that's what you heard, that again could just be a coincidence. It's a campus, it's a college, things are in the woods all the time. We like we, animals and stuff. It's strange that your name keeps coming up. What what would I why would I be going around making people disappear. Does that even make sense? I don't have anything to do with this. 
It's nothing to do with me. Like I said, whatever James does is what James does. I have nothing to do with that. That's what I was trying to tell that boy, but I don't think he got it. Whatever happened to him, I had nothing to do with. You know, he has a lot of fans. And, you know, he's probably putting paychecks in these fans' pockets, so that could have just been one of his little stalker fans. That makes sense. Coincidence. Well, Are you a really. suspect? Am I a suspect? Are you a suspect? Do you know anyone that would know more information than you? Your guess is as good as mine. tale of gruesome horror stories led us in multiple directions. Little is known about the true origin of the goat man, but the effect of his presence still lingers on today. Ah!